Hi folks, welcome back once again. Thank you for joining me. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 128K and we're looking at a top-down racing game this time called Rallycross, published by Anko in 1989. Now, whenever I hear the word Anko, I think of Kickoff 2 on the uh, Commodore Amiga, which I spent ages of. It don't really fit too well in my brain with a racing game, but let's see how we get on with this. Uh, this game also came out on the Commodore 64, the Atari ST, what's going on here, the Amstrad CPC, and the Commodore Amiga. So one to two players, as you can see. I'm the only player here. I do like that font. Uh, let's see how I get on with this, see if it's instantly playable, like Super Off-Road, and all those sort of games. Right, okay, ZXQA, C is like a fire button, so I think I can work that one out. Okay, 128k I believe this uh, version, so let's go, 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 and see what we can do. Keyboard, that's what I want, get the yellow arrow on keyboard. Now these games aren't about expert gameplay, about seeing how you got on your first second go, there's all the upgrades there we can circle through, repair the car, steering, uh, boost, nitros, engine, and all that sort of stuff. Level 01, my car is on at the moment. And as you progress, if you do progress, you can get upgrades as you go uh, forward. So yes, one to two players. I'm the only player here. Wish me luck, wish me luck, and we'll see how it goes. If I can ever get off this screen. Um, right, go. Go, 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 big nose. Right, graphics look quite good. Oh, I'm getting worried. So it's single screen racing at each time, a bit like super sprint. I'm the car, oh, I'm the car that's not moving. Move! Right, mm. Okay, it handles a little bit tricky first of all. I've exploded twice. Looks like it's an annoying start for me. Perhaps it's... Yes, perhaps the screen is a little bit too detailed. I just can't get going. Maybe it's just a beginner's thing. Let's go through here. Yeah, the steering is awful here. Maybe just to ease off the accelerator and go in round. Uh, it's very, very slippery indeed. Uh, first impressions, I'm not a fan of this, but maybe I'll... Uh, I mean, I'll get the hang of it as we go forward. This is a disaster. It sure looks nice. Playability at the moment is awful, but maybe it just takes practice. I've blown up about three or four times. Uh, the other uh, car seems to be doing okay. It's not much. Mm, it's not much room for uh, error here. Maybe I'm just rubbish at it, but at the moment I hate the thing. Uh, let's just keep playing. Now the game does have six tracks. You have to win each race to actually uh, get to the next one. So not a great deal of tracks uh, there. No passwords to jump to any uh, tracks in order. This is really hard going. Uh, time is ticking in the middle. If you had this game back in the day and got good at it, let me know. Was you good at it straight away or did it take some time? Um, as a kid with not much of an attention span back in the day, uh, there uh, I I think this would have annoyed me silly, and I don't I would have gone back and played it again, which is a shame because it it sure looks absolutely actually absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's an evolution from games such as uh, Super Print, which is a bit top down. This is top down really, but it's got a slight angle to it, trying to convince you there. I want to really really like the game, but at the moment I'm getting a bit of hatred towards the thing. Right, anyway. It looks like looks like you've got to keep right in the centre of the road. Uh, collision detection is terrible. Um, so yeah, even the merest of touches and you explode. What they should have done is uh, maybe maybe hitting the sides gave you a bit of um, um, a rebound, so it slowed you down, or an energy bar. But for one one hit one hit anywhere in the wrong order or the wrong place, and and the car's blown up, cost you way way too much time. So what's going to end up happening is, is you're going to drive around uh, really, really carefully, and that takes the fun out of breakneck racing. The other opponents have finished ages ago, and because I'm so slow, I'm about two laps behind, I'm really trying to get through. So it's almost as if I'm driving in a different car, where I can't see out the rear view uh, um, window. Not sure what this would have scored back in the day. I think it would have scored higher than what I would potentially give it, because some people might have been okay with this game straight away, with the controls and stuff, but it's just way too slippery. Maybe I need to upgrade to better steering, and maybe that's trying to make what the game is telling me to do straight away, but I'm trying to drive really slow in the centre of the track, thank goodness that's over, yeah, it's game over, in the centre of the track to try and get to the next one, so I failed to qualify for the next one. 
Um, yes, it's not good work from Anko, I don't think, here. But the presentation is absolutely splendid. Uh, that, that moving arrow, the graphics, the smoothness of the thing. Uh, this display is pretty cool as well. It's just the game's not happening for me. You might think completely different, of course. If you get a chance to download it, give it a go. I downloaded it uh, from a site for free called Spectrum Computing, keeping ZX Spectrum games alive in a big archive there. If you have an emulator, you can download that and give it a go. Away we go. Let's try and be a bit cautious this time. Again, I'm having to be slow on the accelerator. Right, I'm with them now. I'm with them, sort of. So we're trying to be really, really careful. I'm in third place. As soon as I, yeah, see, as soon as I crash once, I think that's it. I'm never going to catch them up. Oh, come on, just keep it on the road. I mean, the other cars aren't going particularly fast, but I just lose too much time when I'm behind them. And I know now I can't really go hell for leather speeding round because I, I just have a bit of bother. Right, okay, I've done a, almost a lap without crashing. This is not fun. I have to really, really concentrate here. And um, a good racing game could be where you can just, just floor it all the way around, ease off where you can, and have a little bit of fun uh, trying to keep up with the others. This is, this is you know. I'm, I'm better on this second go, but not a great deal better. I know I'm going to come fourth place already. So crash once and you're never, ever going to qualify. Hmm, maybe you can cheat and put it on two players, so you only have to beat... Well, even so, the leader's still going to be there. All the cars are yellow, which is fine, because you've got a number above your car, letting you know sort of like where you should be. See, I'm, I'm, I'm driving literally about five metres, then crashing again. It isn't Wreckfest on the PlayStation 4, that's for sure. Check out the review there. did a few games of Wreckfest, so just see the difference between this and that as evolution goes. But regardless of graphics, regardless of sound, uh, the what makes a game good is playability, the pull to make you feel like you're going there, does it absorb you into the game, do you feel like you're in the game this I feel like I'm a bystander uh, watching my car blow up every 10 or so uh, seconds now if you're liking the ZX Spectrum stuff we have got a playlist all of ZX Spectrum games uh, well we've got lots of different playlists really but if you want to go to the playlist see what's there click on my username as I stumble around here it takes you to the channel page click on playlists they will all be there in a bit of a list and if you watch this far into the video um, what is blooming awful gameplay <laughs> of, a, of a game that's just a little bit flawed uh, and it might be that you kind of like this kind of stress busting nonsense as a break from your everyday life so please consider subscribing that helps the channel grow and helps a great deal. If you want to get notified when new videos go up, click on that notification bell and that will send you an email through the uh, YouTube system if it's working. Uh, and now I'm on Twitter as well where I put links uh, up there too to the games quite often the uh, the very same day. Big thank you to the super thanks and the members as well for keeping this thing on the road uh, there. Thank you. Uh, if you watch the live stream then well done you. Um, stress busting away, but uh, you know, I, I'm not beating much stress playing this game to be fair. I think you can sell upgrades and buy upgrades uh, also, but I, I don't think I'm going to see beyond uh, track one to be fair. Maybe once you've been playing it a few hours, you get an Eureka moment where suddenly you're on the track and winning every single time. But this is my third go now. Car's slow to accelerate and straight away didn't hold on to the corner and not going particularly fast. Uh, I'll bash there and now you're forever trying to play catch up to catch up the rest of them and as we've sort of like established already before I'm not going to catch them up I think one of the uh, one of the upgrades was a boost wasn't it a nitro imagine pressing nitro on this I can barely get round we're, we're going as slow as I slow as I possibly can oh man yeah I I don't want to call it a stinker but for me it is a stinker because it just looks so gorgeous what a, what a big shame, what a big shame. There are great, great details in the track, the undulation there. Beautiful, beautiful graphics. Sound acceptable, playability, for me at least, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe I'm in isolation, maybe I'm in isolation. It's the car blowing up that's doing it really. When you look at games like Badlands, uh, Super Stream, which I've already mentioned, Super Off-Road, the car's not exploding to agree, it just, it just costs you time getting stuck on the scenery. It's a, it kind of reminds me of the frustration I had for that, that BMX game. Was it BMX Simulator, I think? Um, where I kept crashing up as well. But people people generally like that as well. That was single screen um, uh, racing too. But if you weren't here, I would have turned this off quite a long time ago, I have to admit. Yes. Reviewed, uh, well, at the time of recording, coming up to 1,100 Spectrum Games reviewed. Still hundreds and hundreds to go. 
um, maybe thousands. I'm never going to run out of stuff to review. That is that is for sure. And they're still making them. Look out for Homebrew Wednesday, uh, where we review a homebrew game. Uh, they're so newish games uh, that have been made on the spectrum. Newish, not really in the last ten years or so. Uh, boom, kaboom! Get me out of here. I'm not a celebrity, get me out of here, like that program, it's Rally Cross, great name for a game, but um, uh, not a very good game, yeah, six tracks, you'll probably only see the first one, unless you're a genius, then you'll see all of them, I think there might be figure rates and things like that, it'd be nice to cycle around them, or an option, and the game is difficult, it's maybe an option to, to practice any track that you want, but that is not there, anyway, hope you'd like to have a look at that one, I thought it was a big letdown, big shame, presentation brilliant, um, playability of the game, poor for me at least, and I can only speak for me, so hope you'd like to have a look look at that game, it was Rallycross on the ZX Spectrum 128K, published by Anko in 1989. If got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then by all means stick that in the comment section below. Until next time, take great great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.